Departure will be at 2.30 sharp. Stragglers will be put on report. Sergeant? Deuce! Boost! Lieutenant! Message for you. Courier says it's new orders. Sergeant, reassemble the men. There's been a change of orders. Yankee uniform's kind of tight. And I look. Hey, General Scott himself smiles. Mr. Collins, Jed. May the army's home to fools and heroes. I ain't either. What about their horses? I got no use for those nags. Scatter them. Let's ride! Thanks for allowing us to borrow the uniforms, boys. Mister? Mister? Mister, you, you can't just leave us out here. We, we got no boots, no water. Mister? 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 Five weeks, Teaspoon. So that kind of service makes it like having those big city stores right in Sweetwater. It sure does, Amos. I'm much obliged. Well, any time, boys. Try not to strain yourself, Jimmy. It's only got two ends. What's in here, Teaspoon? Oh, it's a surprise. What kind of surprise? If I told you it wouldn't be one, would it? You mean it's for us? Yeah. For all you boys. It's kind of a reward for all the uh, hard work you've done. <laughs> well, let's see it. Oh, wait till we get back. Come on, Teaspoon. Only fair since we came to help. Well, guess it won't hurt none. Go ahead. What do you hunt with this? You don't hunt nothing. That there is a baseball bat for playing baseball. New game I read about. Order to set so as we could learn. How do you do it? <clears throat> well, uh, uh, I don't know the particulars, but the notion is you hit that ball with that bat. Why? So as you can run around the bases. What for? To score. Every time you go around, you get yourself a point. That's it? Swap balls, run around in circles? I don't think I've left anything out. People do this for fun? Well, yeah. You don't want to play, you don't have to. You boys, get away from that wagon! Your arrival comes as a great relief, Lieutenant. This bank wasn't built to protect 200,000 in gold, even temporarily. Well, the government appreciates your cooperation, sir. Don't talk to me about those fools in Washington. Why they ever stopped using ships to transport gold from California is a mystery to me. Well, they're just testing the Overland route because it's faster. And more dangerous. It has to cross 2,000 miles, teeming with vandals and cutthroats. Men who would shoot their own mother for two bits, let alone $200,000. Well, Russell Majors and Waddell is the best freight company in the business. They guarantee delivery from San Francisco to Sweetwater. Me and my men will see it gets to St. Joe safely. And I suggest that we wait till dark tonight to take delivery from you. Well, that's another problem. The shipment hasn't arrived yet. Flooding along Green River delayed their crossing. Well, when do you expect it? I knew it wouldn't work. Shut up, Stark. Gold will be here in three, four days. Do wait. I don't like it. Well, you ain't got nothing to say about it. Unless you're in charge now. Sure is a nice hat, kid. Paid money for that? <laughs> <laughs> How do you look? Can I see it real quick? Let me just... <laughs> God. 
Sorry, kid. Hey, mister. Your name Jed? We met? Reckon we might have. I'm afraid I don't recall. You recall cursing a plow mule named Jeremiah? Used to wallow in the creek when the heat came up? Kid? Believe it. Look at you, you finally got some meat on you. You finally found honest work. Boys, I got someone for you to meet. This here's my little brother. <laughs> Steve Dor, for anger. They've been joined up at the circus for a time. Been all over this country. Ever been to New York City? Yes, ma'am. What's it like? Is it as grand as folks say? Oh, it's better. They got streetcars, take you any place you like. Gas lamps on every corner. And buildings. Biggest buildings I ever saw. Washed on the roof of one that was over 80 feet high. <laughs> you can see for 30 miles in any direction. Damn. They got a machine that'll lift you all the way to the top. You just step in and... Up you go. <laughs> That's where I'm going someday. Mark my words. New York, Philadelphia, all them big cities. Tell us about your family, Jed. Kid never talks about it. Kid never talks about anything. Billy thinks if you ain't talking, you ain't alive. I never mentioned it because there was nothing to tell. Father was a sharecropper back in Virginia, that's all. How'd you get separated? A poor rat. There was a drought. He was driven off the farm. He couldn't find work. And we were taken in by different families. In almost ten years. Never thought I'd see him again. To family. Nothing more sacred. No bond is strong. You're here. Amen. Why'd you lie about Paul? You don't know that man nothing. I didn't feel like talking about it. You forgotten the way he beat us? Beat Mama? I swear if he hadn't run off, I'd have killed that man. I ain't gonna waste my life hating him. He caused enough hurt. Besides, looks like you turned out all right. Never thought I'd see you wearing a uniform. Best thing that ever happened to me. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Jed. You'd make Mama proud. <sighs> If it'd been up to me, I'd have robbed that bank and been gone a long time ago. Well, that's the difference between you and Jed. He's smart enough to wait till there's money in it. <laughs> well, if he's so damn smart, what's he gonna do about his brother? Now, that boy could get us all hung. My brother's my concern. You get any ideas about him? That'd be your last. Women. I thought we were going to eat. 
personally, I like my dessert first. Make yourself the home, boys. <laughs> Chad, you see them girls? <laughs> Two more. Same. Yeah, the usual. Hey, 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 hey. So, uh, what is this stuff? Test your skill and find the P. The odds you will are one to three. There's just one trick to winning, friend. Before you gain, you got to spend. <laughs> Pick one. We're well, sorry. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> sorry. Don't mind. Why, wow, that pea must have rolled. Over here, hey, over here. Looks like you're buying the next round. Looks like we got a couple youngins here. You know, your brother said to show you a good time, but we got a limit in these parts. Law says we got to throw back the small ones in the creek. <laughs> okay, maybe next year then. But I think I'll make an exception on you, sugar. You're wasting your time. True. What'd you tell her? Told her you fancied men. What? Well, it's true, ain't it? <laughs> you have got to try some of this stuff. Two more, bartender. I think the man said two. We don't serve this kind. The only kind I see around here are my friends. Well, then you ain't welcome either. Celebrating your reunion with my brother? You should have come. So look at these boys. <laughs> What's wrong with them? They're blind drunk. How could you permit it? Good night, Emma. I ain't got nothing to say about it. They do as they like. They're just boys. To you, maybe. It appears to me they do a man's work. You ought to treat them as such. Besides, there's no harm in letting off a little steam. Well. You should have looked after them. I did. I brought them back safe and sound. Besides, by the time they wake up, they'll think twice about touching that stuff again. At least for a while. They're pretty lucky to have you taken care of them. A lady pretty as you surely could have an easier life. You do go on, Lieutenant. Well, my mama taught me to tell the truth. Hey, Emma. Well, I'm glad to see at least you showed some restraint. Yes, ma'am.
$200,000? In gold bullion. It's due in Sweetwater any day. Well, that kind of money invites a lot of trouble, Mr. Foster. I should have been told about it. I assure you, Marshal, the Pinkerton Detective Agency is very experienced in these matters. We've learned that secrecy is the best protection. The fewer people who know will make it less likely... I'm the law here. It's my job to keep the peace. Now, if you know something that threatens it, you better start talking fast or you'll be staying a while. Opinion has it there's a war coming with the South. Yeah, so I've heard. We've got reports that a gang of outlaws working for the slaveholders is in the territory. They've held up several banks and stagecoaches. Everything they steal is sent to the South to buy arms and ammunition. Then you think they're after the gold shipment? Some army horses were found running loose two days east of here. I believe that a patrol chasing the gang was ambushed. Could be. Indians would have kept the horses. Well, I came to warn the cavalry escort when it arrives. It already has. You like gingham? I got a real pretty one here that Ooh. just came in. How do I look? <laughs> just fine, darling. Pretty as a vision, ain't she, boys? Yes, sir, you sure are a sight for sore eyes. What's your name, darling? Leave her alone. Would you shut up? What's your name? I'll come back another time. Right. Yeah, I'm just trying to be friendly. What's your hurry? Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> Let go. Hey, hey. Don't try it. I think the lady told you to stop. She just made a big mistake, boy. It ain't the first. Let him go, Cody. Come with me, soldier. Come on. Let's go. I regret this happened, Marshal. You have my word this man will be properly disciplined when we report to Fort Laramie. Well, I know how it is when soldiers got a chance to come into town. Just make sure you're keeping them in line while you're here. Well, if I had a choice, he'd rot in there. But we need every man for this detail. Yeah, hurt. What'd you hear? About the gold shipment. Pinkerton detective came in on the stage today. He was looking for you. I directed him out to your camp. Well, we appreciate that. Surely. the Pinkerton. Matthew Foster. Marshal told me you were camped here. Hope you don't mind. Of course not. Make yourself at home. I hear you're worried about outlaws. That's right. Well, your worries are over. <laughs> Get rid of them. Now we got Pinkertons all over us. Your plan ain't gonna work. You got a better idea, stuff? You're damn right I do. I say we hit that shipment out of town before it comes in. Well, that's real smart. How far you think you're gonna get hauling a half a ton of gold? Think you can outrun a posse? They'd string us all up! I would do things my way. They hand over the gold without firing a shot. Be a week before they know it's gone. And then you want to turn around and give the gold to the Southerners. We take the risk, they get the gold. That ain't right. It's smart business. Whenever things get too hot, they give us shelter, food, doctor them when we need it. Yeah, they think we heroes. I'd say that's worth half. You got any more complaints? We'll get the gold. I'll take care of him. Come on, Cody, we can throw 
close that darn thing again already? He ain't got all day. Throw it, Cody. What is he doing? Strike five! Yeehaw! One more and you're out. Well, he's throwing it funny. I'm putting it right in front of you, Jimmy. You're just blind. Yeah, I'll show you who's blind, big mouth. Now toss that thing again. Come on, throw it. Ain't he the funniest little thing you ever saw? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, go, yeah. go, yeah. go, run, 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 run. run. Hey, you like that one? Run, idiot, run! Go, go run, run, run. Get over there! Get over there! The other way! Get over there! The other way! Come on! The I got him! 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 Cannot right hold a runner. Right here, right here. Yeah. Oh. That's fair, tripping his legal. Right this way. Yeah. 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 Go, run it. 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 Go, Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Out. Uh, You're out. Hey, he can't. He hit me with that thing. That ain't fair. Nice throw, Cody. Yeah. Plugging the runner is legal. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Show me the rule. I make the rule. Yeah. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Don't be a sore loser. You hit me with the ball. Oh. Hey, Jimmy. 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 Nothing like a quiet Sunday at home. Flower boy snuck out of church to go swimming. They saw him floating there in the weeds. Yeah, that'll teach me to play hooky on the Sabbath. No. And out runs a kid. Naked as a jaybird, right in front of mama. <laughs> and all her fine church lady friends. <laughs> I was only three. You were eight. <laughs> You're gonna answer for that. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Oh, don't you dare. Company does not help. I insist. Why didn't you ever talk about him? It wasn't much about that time I wanted to remember. When Jit showed up, it was like finding something I didn't know I lost. Part of myself, kind of. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. you out here. Well, that Pinkerton never showed up. Well, that's strange. He was mighty anxious to talk to you. Where'd you find him, Marshal? Floating in Willow Pond. Not far from your camp. We had plenty of vermin out there gunning for Pinkertons. Well, that's terrible. Thanks, Amy. They must have ambushed him while I was riding out to see me. You know, it seems like you would have heard the shots. I don't recall any. Well, I don't think you ought to leave Sweetwater till I find the killer. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, whoever shot Foster likely knows about the gold. I mean, you and your men could be in danger. What gold? I have my orders. Well, I'm sure they give you some discretion. Well, they don't. Well, I'd like to see him. You questioning my word? I'm questioning your judgment. Well, you're out of line, Marshal. I'm a military officer following direct orders. If you attempt to interfere, you regret it. Well, 
Well, I guess there's nothing more to say. Emma? Boys? Marshal, I don't know what you're thinking, but I can vouch for my brother. Asking questions is my job, kid. It bothers me when people don't answer them. Well, he can't tell you things they ordered him not to. Maybe not. But you'd like to know why his horse doesn't carry an army brand. I need to ask a favor, Teaspoon. Well, glad to oblige if I can. Who's the fastest rider you can spare to carry a message to Fort Laramie? Fort Laramie? Kid. Can't be the kid. Get back here as soon as you can. I hope you're wrong about this. So do I. Well, I'm in. I gotta talk to you, Jed, after this hand. It can't wait. Excuse me. Boone, you play this one out. Kid, you look like you could use a drink. Outside. What's eating, kid? What are you doing here, Jed? I told you. I know what you told me. Now tell me the truth. You working for the marshal now? Answer me! You might have fooled Sam, but I grew up with you. Good evening, folks. You're no soldier. You'd never join the army. <laughs> Even if some judge forced you to desert. People change, kid. I was hoping you had, Jed. I really was. You're my brother. I wanted to believe you. Then I hear about some gold. It's not what you think. Then tell me. That gold's gonna buy us guns, protect our home. What are you talking about? Virginia, the South. There's a war coming, boy. Everything we know, our entire way of life's gonna be razed to the ground, left smoldering by Yankee invaders if we can't defend ourselves. Now, we need money for rifle, shot, cannon. And that's two hundred thousand dollars of gold bullion in that shipment. I'm gonna steal it for Virginia, and you're gonna help me. I can't. It's your duty. Virginia's your home. That's where your roots are. You can't turn your back on her. You can't turn your back on me. We gotta stand together. And there's not gonna be any bloodshed. I just sign a receipt. That bank manager, he's gonna hand me the gold. But he's gonna get hurt. What would I have to do? Join us. You ride with me when we leave.
kid asked me to take his run. Again. Stacy got six riders, not five. That was your run. He owed me. That's what you said yesterday. Well, I had this outfit. You ride when I tell you. I don't hear you griping about Lou. He hasn't been here for two days. He just took off. Lou's my concern. You just do your job. Maybe I'm sick of this damn truck. Get, get, hold it, hold it. You're on rear and the bear sit down in a beehive. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Don't look like nothing to me. Can I help you? It don't concern you. Well, that's my favorite kind of problem. Allows me to give advice without suffering the results. Huh? <laughs> What's the matter, son? Have you ever felt obliged to two different things? Things you loved a lot, and somehow they came they came to fighting each other. Well, how do you choose between them? Uh, sometimes you can't. Much as it may hurt, there's times when you just got to stand clear of other folks' troubles. What if you can't stand clear? What What if you have to choose because somebody will be hurt if you don't? Kid. There comes a time in every man's life when he has to decide what he holds most dear. Could be people, could be ideals, property. But every man has to make his own choice. And that choice determines the kind of man he is. Sort of sets the rules he lives by. I wish I could help you, kid, but I can't. All I know is you got a good heart. Listen to it. But I can't. He'll know I'm lying. You can't give Jed the gold until Lou gets back from Fort Laramie. Now, that should be late tomorrow. What if they say he's an outlaw? What then? We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Meantime, you stall him. said it'd be here by now. Oh, they assured me it would. Now they say it'll arrive tonight, tomorrow at the latest. You notify me the minute it does. Yes, sir. Is something wrong? Jed and his gang. It's gonna be at least 24 hours before they get here. My job is to protect the gold till then. Me and my deputies could sure use your help. You're asking us to go against a kid's brother. Well, I don't like it any better than you do. But if he rides on me, I got no choice. What are you gonna tell the kid? The truth. I don't want him caught in this. That's him. 
Have a good ride. Are you with me? Guess we are. Thanks. I'll talk to the kid. Let me. is we got it to Sweetwater and I'm still breathing. Got what? The gold. She's all yours now. Put it in the bank, did you? Locked it up last night. I ain't slept a wink since we left Salt Lake. You take it easy. We'll take care of it. I can't ride with you. Why not? Because I can't. I thought on it real hard, Jed. I can't ride with you. It ain't right. But this war's gonna force everyone to take sides. You ain't with me. You're gonna be riding against me. I pray it don't come to that. Not now or ever. What do you mean? It's just that trouble's coming. Like you said, I know you'll be in the middle of it. I don't want anything to happen to you. you know something? right out of here, Jed. Why? Because I'm asking you. What's wrong? What's going on? What is it? Tell me, kid. Just do as I ask, Jed. Take care of yourself. What are you doing here, boy? I'm talking to you. Let him go, Stark. I don't trust him. Well, he ain't a part of this. Get out the way. I'm ready. Now! Ha! Don't you ever force my hand. Damn it, Jed. Something ain't right. Stark, what are you talking about? Gold. It came in last night. Yeah, I'm sure. Now, that dead Pinkerton must have spooked them, but they're stalling us. All right. Button up, look sharp. You soldiers. We're going to collect that gold just like I ought to say. Anything goes wrong, anyone tries to stop us. You hit them hard and you hit them fast. I want you to load up your saddlebags with as much gold as you can carry, and you ride like hell. Move! Do exactly like I say and stay here till it's over. Marshal, I I'll lock you up if I have to. All right. I promise. Yeah, let's go. I right, get behind the bank. Hold your fire until they show themselves.
a sharp eye out. Go around and get the wagon. You're trapped! You got no chance! Throw out your guns! Take Stop cover! Even here, Jed. Let it go, kid. You murdered people out there. Get out of my way. No. I kill you. I swear, kid. You're my brother. But I ain't gonna hang. You ain't leaving here. Don't make me kill you, kid. I kill you. I swear I will. You're gonna have to. Don't do it, Jed. Jed. No. Hang on, Jed. Hang on. Hang on, Jed. Hang on. Couldn't show you, kid. No! Damn it, Jed. Why didn't you listen to me? <laughs> <laughs>